Hey Rollers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ro. This month's playlist is themed snowflakes, everything snowflakes. It is hosted by Kate from So Kate, and it is co-hosted by Grace from The Grace Life DIY. All the playlist information will be in down in the description of my video so that you can go ahead and watch all of our videos after you've watched my video. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and roll into this video. So for our first DIY, I'm going to make some faux leather bookmarks. So I just had my Cricut cut up the shape that I wanted for our bookmark using a template. And I also grabbed some holographic uh, HTV vinyl, not vinyl, but you guys know what I mean. And then I, the reason I did that was so that I could go ahead and layer it on the back of the faux leather so that I could get a finished back. And then from there, once I layered that on there, which with my mini heat press, um, I went ahead and yeah, it was a little hard for me to put that on there, but you'll see that once it's fully on there, you'll start seeing the, I guess you can say the, the, the finishing of the faux leather. It's really on there, really nice and well put on. That's what I'm showing you right here. That's all it is. Then um, I'm going to grab my little snowflakes. I was just admiring my work. That's all it was. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, it's the first time I've done this. It looks so good. Props to myself. No, I'm just kidding guys. But I'm actually making two, one for myself and one for my sister. So I grabbed my, I'm just heat pressing it again. Cause it didn't look like it was glued on, glued on. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. So I grabbed my little um, snowflakes template. And the way I did this one is like, I just grabbed a bunch of snowflakes from design space and put um, put them together where I wanted them and then sliced them off of the design. Layered them on here exactly where I wanted them, um, put them on and then he pressed that on there. And that was pretty much it for this one. He pressing it on just this part. It took me a little bit, but that was it. Let it cool off, peel the design back and look how gorgeous it looked. And of course I didn't, I made the design a tad bit bigger cause I knew once I heat pressed it on, it should have shrunk a little bit and I was okay with that. So I cut it off with my finger cutter knife thingamajiggy and then that was it. I had some pieces that had came off and I had to readjust it because when I was um, weeding it, I put it on the wrong side. That's what you saw me doing earlier. And here I go fixing the edges he pressing it back on and bada boom bada boom my um things my bookmarks are done but i did not use any book i um tassels because my sister and i are not fans of tassels but i think these came out so stunningly gorgeous what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments what you think about our first little diy let's move on to our next one Okay, for the next, for our next one here, um, I have these two mason jars that have lights already put in them. I don't remember where I got these from, and uh, I just decided that they've been sitting in my craft space forever and a day. And so when this project came on, I was like, finally, I can put them to good use. So I went ahead and cut some got some snowflakes cut these up and i'm going to just place them on the on the mason jar for my for my daughters to use until they decide that they don't want to use them and it's you're gonna see how um they light up here in a minute you just see me placing the see that's where you lost the footage right here but see how pretty this one this one is actually actually i use um what did i use HTV vinyl because I knew it was gonna be tricky to weed and I really use like using that brand vinyl when I'm using intricate details so here I am doing the second piece right here and just laying it down taking my time putting everything down I just wanted it to not be so symmetrical just kind of you know here and there haphazard type of thing and that's pretty much all I'm doing So 
so my youngest already has hers turning on it has a timer and she loves it I couldn't find a place to put this big one last one it's not the big one but so I cut it in half and just decided to piece it together and it's all done look how pretty that color is and there it is all lit up look how gorgeous this one is I was so happy with this one I finally had a use for these jars literally they've been in my craft space for I think two years now I seriously have no idea where I got these from sorry guys but it's been years so I, th I think I ended up having to go get batteries for this one so that's why I'm struggling with it yeah see new batteries had to go get replaced so for our final project, I grabbed this t-shirt that I had in one of my bins and I had to grab this design that I had found because um, I'm just going to make it for my daughter. Anyway, I am not a winter kind of girl. My daughter and I, we suffered through the summer months here in Georgia, but we rejoice come winter. So that's what you see me prepping here. And I'm going to use my HTV Ront Automatic Press. And that's so you see me getting everything ready on there. Lint rolling, heat um, pressing it down. And I always use one of these t-shirt alignments. As you guys have heard me say on many, many times if you've been here, that I am a terrible aligner. So I just used a little bit of heat tape, putting it back on my press and enjoy the show. And of course, some of the, like I stated, you saw me put on there, a lot of the footage was corrupted and got lost. And I apologize for that, but here you're gonna see the final reveal. So let's go on to that. All right, here's the last of everything all together. There's the, there it is. Isn't she gorgeous all lit up? I mean, these projects honestly came out so, so pretty. I'm so proud of them. Look at that shirt. Isn't she pretty? I mean, I love red and then red and blue together. It's just such a good combination. But there's the bookmarks. I made one, like I said, for myself and my sister. Those are our two favorite colors. And you know, I made a project for literally everybody on this video my kid my girls myself and my sister and me so i'm so proud let me know in the comments what you guys think about all the diys that i did for this video and as always guys thank you for watching and joining and like i say all the time live life in full color bye guys